Hey there, welcome back. It's Julia Albad, founder of the Emotionally Focused Weight Release System and creator of this three-part series on how you can end the emotional eating once and for all. So in part one, the special report, you discovered the real reason for your emotional eating and your weight problem. You discovered that you're not broken, lazy, or lack willpower. You simply know how to use food to deal with stress and emotions, and being as smart as you are, you continue to use what works. And you discovered the six key realizations that have allowed me to stop stuffing my emotions with food. In part two, the video, if you followed along, you experienced a profound emotional transformation. You discovered that self-esteem is simply how you esteem yourself. And it's made up of all those thoughts, images, and beliefs inside of you about you and yourself. And you discovered that if it's inside of you, you can release and let it go. And you can change how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself. So today is the day where you'll learn everything about the Emotionally Focused Weight Release System and how you can leverage it to finally end emotional eating once and for all. And so many of you have asked and are wondering just what is the Emotionally Focused Weight Release System? Well, the Emotionally Focused Weight Release System really comes down to six steps. And I discovered those six steps while I was figuring out how to stop stuffing my emotions with food. And step one is understanding the real source of the problem. And I have great news for you here because by reading and studying the special report, you've already completed this step. You now know the real source of the problem. And if you don't believe me, go back and study it some more. And step two is about forgiving yourself and loving yourself. And you know, when we've discovered that the real source of the problem is really within us, most of us feel some level of guilt because we've put ourselves in the situation. And even before knowing the real source of the problem, most of us know that we're doing this to ourselves. So there's an enormous amount of guilt that we feel for having let ourselves go and having let it get this far because we always promise ourselves we would never get that fat. You know, five pounds, yeah, but you know, at 20 we definitely stop. But you know how it is. So we need to let go of that guilt because we really didn't know how things really work. We didn't understand the system within which we were working and so it's kind of hard to make yourself responsible for something that you didn't really understand. So first thing we got to do is release and let go of that guilt and then we got to change how we love ourselves. So when you see a glimpse of yourself in the mirror do you think oh look at that sexy goddess or is it more like oh Look at that stomach, I don't even want to look there. And look at those double chins and that nose and you know, that hair is all graying and you know, whatever it is. And that's part of how you love yourself. And video two was a way it was your first step into that direction of letting go of that guilt and changing how you love yourself. But I find with most of the women that I work with that there's a little bit more to do, so that's what we start off is and step number two is we change, we release and let go of the guilt and we change how we love ourselves. And then step three is about uh, releasing and letting go of the negative and disempowering programs. So these are programs like, you know, when you find yourself in front of the refrigerator having eaten half a carton of ice cream and you don't even remember how you got there. Or when you automatically go to the McDonald's and order yourself a Big Mac on your way home from work because you had a stressful day at work and you just know that being at home with your husband and your kids is going to be even more stressful and you need something in between to help you calm down. So. These are the kind of automatic programs that we, even if we're consciously aware of what we're doing, we don't really know how to stop. And that's what step three is about, is changing those internal programs. In step four, we uh, install new and positive programs. So what I find with most of the women that I work with is that they already know who they really want to be. There's somebody in there that's just been waiting to come out. There's this life that they just have been waiting to live. And in order to get you to that place, we have to install the, the, the proper beliefs and thoughts and, and behaviors to support you being that person. You know, it's there at one point, like right now, you are you have all the beliefs and thoughts and behaviors inside of you to support you being a binge eater. And if you change the thoughts and images and beliefs and behaviors um, it, to support you being naturally thin and healthy, then you naturally become thin and healthy. So step five is about eating foods you love and foods that nourish your body. So when food's just food and its purpose is the nourishment of your body, how do you decide what, when, and how to eat to create optimal health? You know, so 
there's nothing inherently good or bad about a cucumber or an apple or a piece of bread or a slice of pizza. What makes it an issue is what we do with it. When we love the pizza and we hate the cucumber, then that's something that goes on inside of us and we will change that all around and we'll get you set up in a way to where you are eating what's best for you and your body. And you know, I'll help you figure it all out. And then step six is about loving to move your body. So what I find with most of my clients is at some point in their life, they love being out there and riding their bicycle and playing hopscotch and going hiking and going swimming and whatever it was. So at one point in your life, you loved moving your body. You enjoyed being in your body and using it for that enjoyment. So how do you get back to that place? And that's what step six is about, is helping you get back to that place. So now you may be wondering why I'm even doing this. Well, as I alluded to already, is I have a, had a big emotional eating problem. And I tried every diet. I took dangerous pills. I starved myself. I exercised. And I managed to gain 20, 30, and even 50 pounds several times. And it all came back. And I knew the problem was within me and I just didn't know what to do about it. And then I figured it out and I, cr I used everything that I learned in my quest to figure it out and I created a system and now I use it to help women just like you release and let go of what's inside of them that's keeping them in the state of being an emotional binge eater and an emotional eater and uh, fat. So now you may be wondering how you can apply to the emotionally focused weight release system. Well, first things first. First, we're going to get together on the phone or Skype and have a little conversation. It takes about 60 minutes. It's absolutely zero risk, no obligation. And it's time for just you. Time for you to figure out what's really going on. And we'll talk a little bit about where you are in your life right now. We'll talk a little bit about where you want to be. And we'll talk about what you think is keeping you from getting there. And that conversation will give you a deep sense of clarity on the number one obstacle that's standing in your way. And you'll really understand what you need to do in order to move forward and create that change. And so in that conversation, we'll figure out if the emotionally focused weight release system is something for you at this point in your life, if you're ready to really make that change that's necessary for it to work. And if we figure out that the emotionally focused weight release system isn't for you, then we simply say goodbye and we agree to reconnect at a later point um, if and when we feel that it's the right time to do so. But if we do decide that the emotionally focused weight release system is something that uh, would be good for you at this point in your life, then we'll talk about which coaching packages I have available. And at the end of it, you'll also have a very clear idea of what you can expect from me. So, why should you be doing this now? Well, let me be real honest with you. Because if you're like me, then you've tried about just about everything that's out there. Low carb, uh, low fat, high carb, protein, Atkins, shots, pills, I mean, you name it, you've probably given it a try. But you know what all of those things have in common? They're all solutions that come from the outside that you're applying, trying to apply to a problem that only exists inside of you. And so what it, this, this, the emotionally focused weight release system is a, is a way for you to really get to the root of your problem because the emotional eating starts within you. It starts with you and your emotions and how you see the world. And so you really need to go inside and, and fix the problem there. And that's what the emotionally focused weight release system allows you to do. And what I find with most of the women that I work with is that there's a lot of fear because this emotional eating really is the number one way we have to cope with stress and emotions. And so it's really, really scary to think about giving it up because that's what happened to you in the past. Every time you went on a diet where you weren't allowed to have the Big Mac, you felt totally deprived. And so there's a reluctance to go do something else yet again where you think you're going to be deprived from those favorite foods. And here's my promise to you. I will not tell you ever that you cannot eat any food, any certain foods. In, in the Emotionally Focused Weight Release System, you're free to eat whatever you want, whenever you want to. 
there's no restrictions. I mean, I make you some, I make some recommendations to you. What you, what you, you know, what you might want to consider not eating, or something that you might want to consider eating. But in the end, it doesn't really matter all that much because when food is just food, when there's nothing special about that Big Mac, and it's just, you know, a few pieces of bun and a few pieces of meat and some special sauce, and I don't know the Big Mac song, so otherwise I would have been singing it now. Um, then you just eat it if you're really hungry and you eat it because it tastes good and not because you know it, it gives you the promise of emotional peace and so you know you need to f you need to look at that fear that you probably have about letting go of this coping skill of, of what you believe the deprivation that you're going to face on this program and realize it's not going to be there this is a totally different thing nothing nothing like anything you've ever tried before uh, you know, if you've ever been to, say, talk therapy, then you're probably used to spending an hour talking about all the crap that happened to you and then leaving feeling even worse than what you did when you came in. And probably the first thing you do is stop at your favorite uh, food joint afterwards and stuff yourself because you're trying to stuff those emotions back down. Because that's what it comes down to is this weight. Um, the emotional eating in the way is really a protection mechanism. It's, it's how we deal with our emotions. There's all this crap that happened in the past and we're trying to keep it sh locked down, shoved into the closet way back in the back. To get it back into that closet is to go eat our favorite foods. Um, and the emotionally focused weight release system is nothing like that. Whenever you work with me, we will go and look at those things in your closets, but we release and let them go and we change how you feel about them so that you no longer have the need to shove it into the closet because now you're free from it. Now you can look at your past and feel good despite what happens. And isn't that what it's really about? Is Because now is the moment where you're here. Now is the moment that's real. And you should feel good. And it shouldn't matter what happened to you in the past because you're here now and you have a right to feel good. And the emotionally, weight, emotionally focused weight release system will get you exactly that. So if you're ready to have your no obligation, emotionally free and gorgeous breakthrough session with me, just sign up below. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. This is Julia Albert, create a beautiful day.